Welcome. In this class, we will talk about some of the important topics, extremely important for your UGC NET examination for Geography Paper Two. Now here we have a complete uh, video course which is in around one twenty three hours, and this covers the complete syllabus for NET. However, as we proceed, we would be talking about some of the most important topics that you must cover. Extremely important for your twenty twenty three examination. So one of them is. Yes, the time scale. Now, time scale is a common topic where you usually see questions from different areas. But uh, this time, this topic becomes important. Meghalayan age is a contemporary topic from geological time scale. We have covered that separately in one of the videos. So, do refer the geological time scale with Meghalayan age as one of the important topics. Another important topic is geosyncline. uh every time you have at least one question from the section on continental drift plate tectonics or sea floor spreading so one of these topics expect at least one question from this section the next important topic are the landforms now all the landforms fluvial alluvial crust crust then you have the glacial so all of these landforms become important now landforms must be covered in detail uh, there would be erosional land features as well as depositional features and sometimes there can be a simple match list questions which ask you to identify which of the following is a a uh, uh, fluvial landform is a fluvial depositional landform is a fluvial erosional landform and so on and so forth so that differentiation must be very clear the geo uh, geomorphic cycles of pang davis and king all of those are important the differences between them becomes important coming on to climatology the next important topic here uh one of the very important topic is atmospheric stability now this topic is extremely important if you are also planning to appear for csir earth science atmospheric stability Uh, the concept of stability and instability becomes extremely important for CSIR Earth Science students. For Earth Science students, again, oceanography and contents related to thermohaline circulation become important. For the students appearing for UGC net, fronts, air masses, and climate classification by Copen and Thornwhite becomes important. So cover that carefully. Then, as I said, ah. Uh, thermohaline circulation important topic for your csir sometimes could be also asked here monsoon is another important topic uh, then uh, the recent bomb cyclone concept which was the cyclogenesis the explosive cyclogenesis recently seen in the regions of uh, united states where blizzards were seen because of explosive cyclogenesis again becomes an important topic because it is contemporary as well now coming on to next is the topic related to ocean acidification and bleaching of corals again a very important topic in light of environmental concern as well difference between agroforestry and social forestry could be another important question that could be directly pointed out from the environment ozone depletion environmental protection kigali amendment COP twenty six some of the recent topics from environment, but then again you have Montreal Protocol, Kyoto Protocol, and all those which are part of the syllabus here. Glof, glacial lake outburst, ah uh, flood is another important topic that must be covered in detail. Coming on to geography of India, we have taken a separate lecture with monsoon as a very important topic. It is covered in climatology section as well, but with geography of India, a specific se uh, section talking about uh, jet streams, dipoles, western disturbances, and therefore making it an extremely important topic. Then from India, the major minerals and agricultural. Sites and census. So since we had the last census of 2010, that's there. So cover that census data carefully. Every time two to three questions, which are based on rote learning of the census, asked very directly. So if you cover those topics, you are all set with the uh, full score in the questions related to census. Now uh, then we come on to the next section where we focus on urbanization. What are blue tint? settlements again very important so uh, blue tent settlements are the ones which could be seen with the aerial photographies and they show the slum dwellings in an urban area so that's again an important topic that you must discuss geopolitics is another important topic 
Now, geopolitics of water, oil, nuclear energy, power uh, are some of the important topics that must be taken into account. Political geography, the theories of Jelen, the theories of Mackinder and Hachan become important here. Then we have um, the various issues which have been recently added to the syllabus uh, international trade and transport yes radha uh, that's again a very important topic in terms of international trade and uh, agreement uh, we have the most important thing is the wto uh, amendments recently the sanctions that have been put recently and uh, another important topic with terms of international trade is the ricardian theory of trade uh, so that's again covered here as we'll proceed we'll tell you but the idea here is uh, some of the important topics which were introduced in the 2019 update of the syllabus and that is uh, the major section on healthcare planning medical tourism in india ayushman bharat becomes an important question here uh, radha it might appear too much but actually when you sit and start reading it's not that comprehensive uh, the most important thing is if you have covered it in this detail there is no reason that you won't be able to qualify your jrf and when you are studying you must target with your aim of jrf okay then there have been some new additions in the syllabus here which which we have included and those are the modernism postmodernism feminism ecofeminism structuralism the basic differences between the two the four philosophy the four philosophies in geographical uh, education idealism realism pragmatism and existentialism extremely important for this year Similarly, uh, dichotomy and dualism, uh, this is a very basic topic, we have been covering it in the very fundamentals of human geography and human, human uh, uh, geographical thought and its perspective. The idea and the impact of Charles Darwin on geographical research, uh, that becomes an important aspect. Now, coming on to the thought portion, the geographical thought, right? So, human geography, yes, rather we are discussing on to it. So, human geography, two sections newly uh, asked these days, but extremely important. India's contribution to geography and China's contribution to geography. So, here are the three videos, 69, 70 and 71 that you must cover in totality, which would cover the complete Indian geographical concepts as well as the Chinese geographical concepts. Then we do have the concept of determinism, possibilism, the basics you must be familiar with. Uh, the location, the industries, the world industries, the world agriculture, their classification, the industrial location theory, the common ones you are familiar with, the Weber and the Losh model. But nowadays we do have other theories which are asked, which is the Smith's theory, Perdol's theory, Hoover's and Greenland's theory. Similarly, in the transport uh, geography, Ullman and Hurst model becomes extremely important. So cover this model very carefully. Ricardian model in trade, as we already said. Similarly, in population, we do have theories related to Malthus and Marx. Uh, which is important then classification of towns harris model nelson's model very important crystallus theory every time either from crystal theory or weber theory in industrial geography you would have at least one question so k value of k is a common question which is asked uh, sometimes you would have match list with the k values three five and then you would have uh, marketing and uh, administration and so on so you would get a clear picture of it the three uh, origin of town theories recently introduced in 2019 syllabus which is garden child and Perry uh, and the Lewis Mumford theory again important the utopian concept in urban planning and the Howard's uh, garden concept uh, then we have the concept of boundary the difference between boundaries and frontiers uh, the theories of regional development where we have the Bordeville, Meredals, Richman and uh, Friedman's theory Coming on to the GIS section. Now, GIS section is extremely scoring, very much descriptive, but you must cover that in totality. So, the difference between the vector data, raster data is one of the questions. Then, from the statistics, so far, the questions were relatively easy. But over the years, we have seen that with the statistics, research-oriented questions are asked. So, probably a question based on passage where you have comprehension-based questions asking about the Z-score, calculating the standard deviation, finding out the vector analysis are some of the 
question uh, common questions that could be asked radha daud if you have any specific question feel free to post those in the comment section so here are some of the lectures now these are a small small lectures but they give you a clear insight about uh, the concepts of statistics now definitely the number of lectures if you see are more because statistics in itself is a broad subject but uh, once you start reading it this would become a easy topic for you and extremely interesting as well so a very interesting topic and then we have a complete random design uh, randomized complete block design latin square the difference between the two chi square what are parametric tests non non parametric tests so those topics must be covered in detail factor analysis principal component analysis what is the difference where do you apply the two uh, must be covered now here we come with some of the most important sections must to be covered spatial autocorrelation spatial interpolation nearest neighbor analysis spatial heterogeneity important questions must to be covered covered how do you calculate the mean center how do you calculate the median center coming on to aerial photography types of distortions displacements extremely important must to be covered so these two topics must be covered electromagnetic spectrum spectral reflectance again important topic what are the various spectral bands the sensors and the various remote sensing uh, satellites which are already established become an important topic map how do you reduce a map how do you enlarge a map map scale reading a map scale converting a map scale uh, from verbal to an rf scale then another important topic what is cartogram heater graph climograph a very very important topic how do you calculate slope hypsometric analysis understanding the slope curves altimetric analysis then the various types of projections uh, which part of the earth can be best depicted in which projection how do you understand uh, the projections through the the source at which the light falls those become an important topic bearings uh, forward backward again an important topic in surveying uh, so those are some of the important things and then some contemporary topics for the lectures uh, which are important for your 2022 2023 uh, based on your 2022 2023 aspects so once you cover all these videos uh, i or all these topics through whatever means you are covering you are sure to have a good edge over other students when you are appearing with geography as a subject for net now again when you are giving your net it's important that you don't dream for net you should aspire for at least grf uh, if and how you qualify becomes a separate story but you must target your preparation for uh, for grf and not for geography now uh, there is a question where another person is asking about gautam is asking about psychology so yes uh, if you go down onto the doorstep tutor slash exam slash ugc you would find the list of subjects here and in this list of subject if i scroll, scroll down here is psychology and in the psychology like uh, you can go on to uh, the review all lectures and you would have the list of all the lectures so there are 285 lectures which are covered in nearly 104 hours for psychology so those lectures uh, are one of the things now these lectures are available for one month duration you can change the number of months uh, as you proceed for your subscription and that is one of the ways to go for the courses but yes if you are looking for any other subject as well uh, the complete list of subjects are available here so you can just go and watch the uh, see the complete list of subjects that you are looking for once uh, joydeep if you have any other questions feel free to post those i'll be taking those questions as we proceed but yes your last day to fill the form is 17th of january this time so definitely fill your form at the earliest don't delay it unnecessarily for the last moment and do mark grf as well as net while you are filling the form so that's extremely important uh, while you are appearing for your exam examination so this was a general introduction about some of the important topics that must be covered for geography uh, we wish you a very good luck for your preparation and once you are done with it do practice the past year papers so once you go on to the question bank you would have around uh, 4000 plus questions which are available here now these questions are across various topics and disciplines so uh, practice as much as you can and this practice would give you a cutting edge 
over other candidates wish you very good luck for your upcoming examinations prepare well and yes in the meanwhile if you have any questions doubts feel free to connect back to us we'll be more than happy to reply back to you i'm also available for free one on one consultation on a scheduled appointment basis so definitely feel free to drop a request onto this number at whatsapp for uh, for their appointments wish you very good luck have a wonderful day ahead we'll be meeting back soon with the live sessions as we proceed